Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the great things Quizlet has to offer. So let's go to Quizlet.com and let's log in. So for this step you can use any account. It could be your Google account, Facebook account, or any other um, email that is not Google, related to Google. So I'm just going to log in with my uh, Google account. And then this is how it appears. There are so many things that you can do here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a vocabulary uh, set of uh, words. So, uh, here it gives you the option to create a class. So, I have been doing this for a long time. So, I've been adding vocabulary words from uh, to Spanish 1, 2, and Spanish 2 owners. So if you want to create a class, if you have, if you're teaching different classes, just uh, click on create class and just put the title on it. And in this case, uh, I'm going to show you um, how to uh, create a study set. So they can, uh, so your student students can improve if they're struggling remembering or uh, memorizing any vocabulary words. So, for example, you click on create, and today I'm gonna click on the ones that I already did. So I'm just gonna click on this one. But if you create, if you click on create, it's gonna appear like this. Um, hold on. Let me see. Um, let me click here. So it's gonna appear here like this. It's gonna show you this. So you click. Um, so where it says set title, you click uh, here and uh, write whatever. Uh, whatever title of the chapter. Um, uh, it is that you're gonna add the vocabulary words so for this one I did uh, chapter 9 and since uh, I was doing uh, I was working with a Spanish teacher I was helping her adding uh, vocabulary words so in this case on the left side I add I wrote the Spanish word and on the in, uh, on the right side, I translated it into English. So set the language, you click here where it says uh, change, but it also, when you're creating a new one, it says uh, choose language, so just put change, and it gives you a lot of languages here. So for this one, I'm going to leave it like that, because since... It is already in Spanish, so I don't need to do anything. Here, uh, it's already set into English, so I'm not going to change it. What also you can do is, uh, you can also add a picture, so you can remember what a, a farmer or agricultor uh, means. There's also this little symbol here which means that you can record your own voice if you want uh, your students to say uh, let's say the right pronunciation or anything like that or any other uh, pronunciation you can record your voice here just cl click click <clears throat> so after this, if you're done, uh, just click on, uh, no, actually, 
where it says here, where it says visible to everyone and only uh, editable by me. And you can change. So here where it says who can view everyone. So um, everyone who is in this class can uh, view the vocabulary words. And who can edit it. Oh, I just click on me. So we click on save. After doing this, if you're done, uh, click done. And it's gonna take you to this page. So here you have a lot of different uh, ways that the students can learn. You have flashcards, you have a, a spell, you have a uh, writing. They can also test themselves if they already know the words. They can also match the Spanish word to the English word. And this is a game. So I'm going to click on it. And so here what you can do is uh, if you already know the words, let's say that you have been studying for a long time. Uh, you... This game is, uh, so, there's a lot of uh, asteroids which uh, are coming are coming down, and let's say, if you don't know the word uh, that appears on every uh, asteroid, uh, then it's going to hit the planet. So, let's just play uh, one. So, study third or start with random, medium, the difficulty. So, start game. So, this is how it is. So, this is the English word and translated into Spanish is going to be futuro. And then, if it's not right then you're gonna have to that was the correct answer el futuro so if it's not right then you have to copy the answer here el futuro and then la profesión profession And it keeps going, so I'm just gonna leave it there and just go back. But these are great ways for your students to learn a new vocabulary, and it also gives you here what you missed and what you need to improve on and everything. So, yeah, this is about it. and. I'm just gonna log out oh and uh, one more thing uh, you can also download Quizlet on your phone so just get it from Google Play or App Store so there is no excuse for your students not to study uh, because they always have a phone on them so it's a great way to use Quizlet and to improve the grades on school. So this is about it. Thank you.